There are times when I was investigating a security incident and found malware that was left behind by threat actors or malware that was still running in memory. Having the opportunity to obtain these files during an investigation can help us identify new IOCs and help us pivot to eventually identify patient zero. But not everybody has the capability or knowledge to perform malware analysis, which is why in today's video, I wanna introduce you to some of the tools that you can use online to help you perform malware analysis and identify those additional IOCs. Number one, Virus Total. I feel like I've been mentioning Virus Total in all of my videos, and that is because Virus Total is a great tool. It provides a bunch of capabilities to help us identify additional information depending on what we're looking for. In this case, malware analysis. Whenever we upload a file, Virus Total will provide us with a bunch of information regarding that file. So if there's outbound communication or additional drop files, Virus Total will display that. It provides us with a reputation score, which allows us to quickly identify the nature of this file. I can't forget about the comments as well. Any comments left by the community can really help us understand more about the IOC that we're looking at. But like all online tools that ask you to upload a certain file, just be wary of proprietary and sensitive information because when you upload that file, guess what? Anybody who has access to it can view and download that file. You don't wanna be uploading your personal identifiable information or your company secrets. If you have a choice, don't upload the file to an online tool. Instead, generate a hash of that said file. And if you don't know how to generate a hash, I created a video on how you can do just that. Generating a hash and pasting it into these tools to see if there was any previous analysis done to this file is a lot better than uploading the file. Number two, any run. AnyRun is an interactive online malware sandbox. It could be a little confusing at first if you've never used it before, but it is a great place to detonate malware and it will help you analyze what the malware does. But you do have to sign up for an account. It is free, however, and once you do sign up for an account, the sandbox will then provide you with the abilities to interact with the malware in real time. And it will provide you with information on the behavior of the malware as well. If you're not interested in watching your malware play out in real time, or you don't have enough time, you can just simply search for the IOC in any runs database. If it's been publicly analyzed before, all of the results will be available to you. Number three, hybrid analysis. Hybrid analysis is powered by Falcon Sandbox, AKA CrowdStrike and is another popular open source malware analysis tool that can sandbox malicious software and executables. You can upload a file or submit a URL and hybrid analysis technology will sandbox it and perform things like file collections. And at the end, it will provide a report of its findings. One cool feature of hybrid analysis is that you can actually choose which operating system you want the file or URL to be sandboxed in. You have the option to select for a quick scan and the scan will then integrate virus total, CrowdStrike Falcon, static analysis, meta defender, and URL scans. Similar to any run, once it's done, you can choose to generate a public report. And if someone else searches for the same indicator of compromise, the same report will be shared to them as well. Number four, triage. Like most tools, you do have to sign up for an account with them to utilize most of their capabilities. But once you do sign up with them, you can then go ahead and submit your malware for analysis, view reports of malware submitted by others. And one cool feature about this tool is that you can download a sample of a malware or a PCAT file and play around with it yourself. Now, of course, within a controlled virtual environment that you own. Last one is Joe Sandbox. Joe Sandbox detects and analyzes potential malicious files and URLs on Windows, Android, Mac OS, and Linux for suspicious activities. It performs deep malware analysis and generates a comprehensive and detailed analysis report. I typically love to use this or search IOCs and see if this exists in Joe Sandbox because it does provide a detailed map of the TTPs. Now, Joe Sandbox is free to use, but only up to a certain point. It allows you to run a maximum of 15 analysis per month. If you wanna be able to run more analysis with access to all the features, you do have to pay a fee, but that's not mandatory. Nevertheless, it's still a good tool to have in your toolbox. And if you just want to view reports of malware previously submitted by other analysts, those are available as well. An honorary mention is Cuckoo Sandbox. 
Cuckoo Sandbox is another malware analysis sandbox. However, you will have to download it and set it up yourself. The benefit of this is that you can use the sandbox in an offline environment, which is pretty cool. And there you have it, some of my favorite malware analysis tools. It is always a good idea to utilize multiple vendors to see if that vendor can identify something that the other vendors did not. This will help you reveal information that can potentially help you with your investigation to identify patient zero and understand the scope of the incident. If you use other malware analysis tools that I did not mention in this video, leave it down in the comment section below. And that is it for this video. If you found it informative, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to.